Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been forever since I've been on here. I had some camera issues, still have camera issues, but luckily I found someone to lend me their camera to film a few quick videos, so expect to see a few more in the next week or so. But today, I have a fun pack schedule for you. We are shooting um, a video over two shoes that I've picked up in the past month or so. Um, one actually released back in the springtime, the second released um, in September. Well, it released throughout September and I think a little bit in October. But anywho, we'll jump right in here. It is the women's collab, um, Nike women's collab that they did with Swarovski Crystals. Um, so I did a little research because I didn't want to jump on here and like have no details and just kind of bullcrap my way through it. Um, so I wanted to give you good hard facts on the collab itself, why it happened, some details about the materials, and all that good stuff. So it's safe to say that this past year, Nike has focused on re-releasing the Air Max 97. It is its 20th year anniversary, so pretty much is a good reason on why they were doing it. Um, they release obviously iconic colorways like the silver and gold one um, with a few others as well, but every time Nike re-events or re-releases a shoe, they tend to gravitate towards different fabrics, different takes, something fresh, something new, and the Nike women's team at Nike was able to collab with Swarovski, which was really, really cool. Um, they took a trip actually to Austria, um, met with the team. They were able to look through 12 years of research into jewelry, clothes, automobiles, home goods, different fabrics, um, and they actually settled on the fabric that they loved the most was the crystal fabric. Um, and this is something that they were like, yes, this is exactly what we're looking for. This is what we want to put on the 97. Um, and the crystal fabric itself, um, if you look online, there's a little bit of materials, but it's just like a, obviously a piece of fabric and it has, um, 1.71 million crystals, Swarovski crystals per square meter in the fabric itself. So very blingy and shiny. Um, so what they did, it wasn't something where they could just, you know, like paste it on there or whatever, or just put it on their like normal fabric. They actually had to use this heat fusing process um, instead of stitching itself. So very different. The patterns have to had to be super precise, and while I was looking at the research, actually every shoe has a different fabric because the Air Max 97 has that wave pattern. They had to do it different because all the sizing, the fabric, how much fabric is needed is completely different. So I thought that was a really cool fact. So if you got one of these shoes, whatever size they were, they didn't make many of the black pair. They made a little bit more of the silver pair but still you have a very unique shoe not many people has has the same shoe as you so that's kind of cool um more details um would be i don't have any more details so we'll get right into the shoe um the, i'm going to show you the black one first this one released in um the springtime i did not i was so mad they did not like in my opinion, I'm always up to date on some of the newer stuff where you guys tell me about it, you know, especially stuff that you guys think I'll like. You, you see a shiny shoe, you know I'm going to like it. So I'm lucky enough to have friends that look out for me when they see something. They always DM me or something like that. This was not the case. This one I like saw. It, it released and like two days later I saw it released and I was so mad. I was like, are you kidding me? How did I not know about this shoe? This is... If, if they had a shoe with my name on it, this would be one of them. Um, so, did not pick this up when it released. I kept putting it off because the price was like super high and I was like, no, I don't want to pay that price. And then I realized price kept going up and up and up and up. And I was like, well, crap, I'm never going to get this shoe. Um, and finally, I lucked out, found a pair on eBay for a cheap price, so was happy to pick them up. Um, that's my story. So, let's jump right into the shoe. The box is, uh, I would compare it to like a typical Nike lab box, um, has the Nike branding, red box, 
kind of the embossed Nike and like a yeah embossed exactly um, slides out what I one cool detail is a lot of shoes come with dust bags nowadays, but not a lot of shoes come with single dust bags. I thought this was really cool, but it makes sense when you look at the shoe. Um, the materials vary. You just have to be gentle with it, and they wanted to provide dust bags, I would assume, but they wouldn't want them on in the same dust bag, so they have their own where they can be safe by themselves. Um, it is black suede with the silver Nike swoosh on it as well. Jump it in. I have not worn these yet. We'll wear them soon. I'm like obsessed. I wore the silver ones. They are fantastic. In the sunlight, they catch all the glitter and shimmer and prettiness. It's fantastic. Um, sorry, I'm fangirling over here and just saying a bunch of girly words. <laughs> um, but just a black 97 the silver one was actually very comfortable um, pretty much black all out on the shoe it has um, I'm just gonna try to get hopefully this catches on camera because it in in person it's insane but videos I've taken have not shown the details very well but you can just see that fabric you can see the 1.71 million <laughs> sorority crystals shining um but the black ones were numbered i believe this is not a detail that i could find but i feel like somewhere i read that there were only 200 pair um i have pair number 73 to be exact but there you go it has a white bottom white midsole with the airbag the airbag is black um what other details the aglets are pretty cool i don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera but hopefully it's focusing but it's just a weird kind of industrial looking aglet I would say but yeah there's the black one hopefully that translates jumping into the silver don't need to really go over the details much more this one obviously is a take on the silver bullet um, Air Max 97 which was very iconic when it released back in the day uh, back when I was seven years old. Um, now y'all know my age. <laughs> um, yeah, same box, same everything, same single dust bags. I have worn these, so they are in their individual dust bags. I think these ones shine a little bit more, too. I think they have a little bit more shimmery. So this one obviously has a little bit more detailing on it. Um, it has your silver throughout. These are super reflective. 3M right here on the top. Um, has the crystal fabric with the Swarovski crystals. Hopefully that picks it up pretty well. I'm just going to wiggle it so you can see it moving. And then um, this one, since it is a take on the silver bullet, has the red swoosh detailing as well. This one was not numbered. There were definitely more pairs, but still super limited. Um, it does actually, these ones do have the uh, industrial looking aglet as well. So very, very cool. This one has a black bottom though. The other one had the white, but I will show you what they look like next to each other. happy to um, add these to my collection um, already have worn the silver we're well these but these will probably be in my rotation rotation pretty heavy big fan of the sparkle big fan of the iconic silhouette as well um, but yeah if you have any questions leave them in the comments below make sure to subscribe if you would like to see more videos and actually something too to leave in the comments let me know because I've picked up several things obviously since the last time I filmed a YouTube video um, in the comments below let me know what you want me to film like what any shoes I've picked up in the past you know two years since it's been 
um, let me know what you want to see on video or anything else you want to see. But thanks for checking in on the video today and see you later. Bye.